Where's to harmy and Freyond and welcome to, to another video. I want to play a little game with you today. I'm going to read out a passage from the Lord of the Rings. One of my favorite passages and a passage that I think, well one of the passages, that summarizes what a huge part of an aspect of Tolkien's writing was about. And you will tell me why do you think most of the liberal people, the modern lefties, the SJWs, why would they hate this passage to the core of their hearts if they actually read the books? If they actually read and enjoyed any of these books and comic books that you can see behind me and not just bitching about uh, the movie interpretations on the internet all day long and that they, de they demand inclusion and representation and diversity to be included in the films rather than focusing on the actual, actual good storytelling. But if they read it, they would hate it. It's my opinion and um, as I said, let me know in the comments down below if you know why. So, these are this is the ending of The Lord of the Rings, one of my favorite passages. At last, the three companions turned away. And never again looking back, they rode slowly homewards, and they spoke no word to one another until they came back to the Shire. But each had great comfort in his friends on the long grey road. At last they rode over the, the downs and took the east road, and then Merry and Pippin rode on to Buckland, and already they were singing again as they went. But Sam turned to Bywater, and so came up the hill as day was ending once more. And he went on, and there was yellow light and fire within, and the evening meal was ready, and he was expected. And Rose drew him in, and set him in his chair, and put little Eleanor upon his lap. He drew a deep breath. Well, I'm back, he said. So why do you think they would hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be all from me. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon and Namaste.